Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we'll be taking a look at the brand new SH Figure Arts Avengers Infinity War Thanos figure from Bandai. And here's a quick look at him in the packaging. You're able to see the figure and then you get some awesome looking Thanos artwork at the bottom. And then on the back of the box, you get a look at the figure and some different poses with some of his accessories. And I'm a big fan of the figure arts packaging. It's small. It's only big enough to fit these things that need to fit in the box. So it's collector friendly. You could open it up, put the figure back and all that cool stuff. But let's take a look at the figure itself. So here's Thanos out of the box. And my first impression of the figure is that they did a really good job with it. I definitely like it a lot, but there are a few things that I'm a little bit disappointed with in the articulation department and I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a minute here so let's get into the articulation his head is able to move side to side he has the, the the type of neck where it has movement where the head and the neck meet and where the neck and the torso meet so you get a lot of moving around and I just want to apologize all the joints are really tight so there's a lot of squeaking and stuff so that might get a little bit annoying so uh, sorry about that but his his neck has a lot of nice movement when you bring it up, you want to be careful because it could kind of come up over the torso and it might be a problem getting it down. You might have to push it so that it's able to come down again. But the movement's really nice. He could go side to side. It's got a little bit of tilt to it. He can look up to about there and then the collar kind of gets in the way. And then he could look down to about there. He can't quite bury his chin into his chest, but he can look down. So that's good because most characters are going to be smaller than him. And then for the torso, that's the point where I'm a little bit disappointed because he doesn't really have much of an ab crunch. This is pretty much him standing straight up and then the ab crunch is pretty much that. So it's not very much at all. And he has, for his torso, there's two different joints. You have the mid torso joint and then you have a joint at the waist. So using both of them, you could, you could get him into... I mean, most poses that you'd want Thanos in, so it's not a huge deal that he doesn't crunch that much, but it was just a little bit disappointing, especially with the figure arts figure. I thought that he'd have some ab crunch there, but it doesn't have too much, but it can go to the side a pretty good amount. He can lean back, so you could get him into some nice, like, fist cocking poses, so that that's very good, but yeah, that's a little bit disappointing. And the reason why it's like that, it seems like they kind of went high with the torso plastic piece and it kind of digs into the chest here. And let me show you what I mean. This figure is able to pop apart really easy. And check that out. See, this is really high. So I think that kind of blocks the articulation. I almost want to trim it, but, you know, this is not a $20 Marvel Select figure. So I'm a little bit, uh, you know, hesitant to just start chopping it up. And I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess I don't really need him to be able to hunch over or you know, crouch or anything like that. So I'll probably, I probably won't trim at it, but I think that that's what's stopping the articulation, that big piece of plastic coming up like that. And I'm sure they did it so that there's no like exposed joints or anything when you lean them back. And I mean, I, I get that. So, you know, I'm not going to hold it against figure arts too much, but yeah, aside from that, the torso can twist. And again, it's really, really tight. So it's very loud when you're doing it. And then for the arms, it has the typical figure arts arms. There's no upper bicep swivel or anything like that. You just get the swivel from the ball joint here. So you could kind of make it, make it seem like it has a swivel, but it doesn't really. But his arms can go pretty much all the way around. And this joint is very similar to the joint on the figure arts Hulk figure from a few years back, but the pin is shorter so it's not as dangerous when you're messing with it i was always scared to mess with that figure because the pin was so long always felt like it was gonna break or something and one thing that's really cool about the shoulder joint is part of the armor is kind of articulated too so when you bring the arm forward the armor kind of follows it so again there's not going to be any like exposed joints so i like that a lot that that kind of stuff is really cool and it shifts around so it's really really nice and then for his elbows, he has double jointed elbows and they do go in pretty deep because the cut there is, is pretty deep. So he can definitely get nice movement on the elbows. And then for his wrist, he has a hinge and a swivel. And a strange thing about this is that this won't spin around. So you can't, you can't get, you know, you can't get his hand to crunch like this way. You can only do it like that if you want to, but that's kind of strange. And another thing that I thought was pretty interesting is they made it so this, let me see if I could get it going here. This ball joint could come out. There we go. So the ball joint could come out and it kind of adds a little bit more range of motion to the wrist here. 
And of course you'll have this joint that's exposed, but I think it could be pretty useful if you if you hide it, you know, depending on certain angles, I think it could be it could look really cool. So that's a nice touch, but I do wish that it would swivel around so you could get his fist in the different directions. And then on the other side, it's a typical kind of thing. You could you have a little bit of hinge. Let's see. It's, again, it's really tight too. You have a hinge and a swivel. But this joint, you could actually spin it around. It's just a little tougher. You got to do like that. And then you put the hand back on. And then you could get, you know, movement that way. And you can't do that with the gauntlet side. So, kind of interesting what they did there. And then for the legs, they're able to drop down. Let's see here. Just a little bit. Oh, and then one thing that's kind of strange about this is if you drop it down too much and move it forward, it pops out of somewhere. So it stays loose. But when that first happened, I was all scared. And then I saw that it just popped right back into place and then it wasn't a problem. So that's pretty good. But let's see here. Sorry about this. So his leg pretty much could go to right there. If you try to go further than that, it's going to pop out and do that thing again. And then you have the upper thigh swivel. You have double jointed knees. You have a swivel here at the foot. But most of the foot movement is blocked because of the boot. So you do have a swivel. It does rock side to side. It goes forward only to about there, then it's blocked. Comes up to about there, and then it has toe articulation. So, like I said, I'm slightly disappointed with the articulation on this figure. But, you know, it doesn't ruin the figure for me or anything. He's really, really cool. There's a few things that are a little bit weird, like with the hip. If you move it too much, it does that weird thing that pops out. Like I said, I was really, I thought I broke my figure when I was, when that first happened. I was super disappointed. But then I saw that it just snapped right back into place. And I don't know if it's just my figure that does that or if it's all the, the figure arts Thanos figures floating around out there. But I thought it was kind of weird. It kind of caught me off guard. But I'm glad that it was nothing serious. And for the accessories, let's start off with the heads. He comes with three different ones, and each one of these really does a good job at conveying different looks and attitudes from Thanos in the movie. First off, he has this face that just kind of looks really focused and menacing. And then next up, he has a very arrogant signature Thanos smirk. And then last but not least, he has this super angry, I'm going to kill everybody face. And then he comes with a bunch of different hands. First off, we'll do the side that doesn't have the Infinity Gauntlet, and he has a fist. He has a gripping hand that he could use to choke superheroes out. And then he has a flat hand that he could use to wave half the universe goodbye. And then of course he has the snapping finger. And then for the Infinity Gauntlet side, again he has a flat hand. He has a fist. And then he has like a dramatic open gripping hand. So with the exception of the snapping finger, he has the same hands on both sides. And now for the size comparisons, there's quite a few figures that I would have liked to compare them to that I don't own, like the Cole Obsidian Builder figure and the Marvel Legends Proxima Midnight figure. I really wanted to see how he'd look next to both of those, but I don't own them. Maybe one day I'll pick them up, but for now, I just got to work with what I have. And I also don't have any of the figure arts Infinity War figures like Spider-Man or Captain America or none of those. I do plan to get Spidey one day, but I just haven't picked them up. So, like I said, I just got to settle for what I have. There's a bunch of other awesome reviews out there for this figure. D Amazing did a great review. Uh, Boog Nice did a great review, and they have a bunch of different comparisons in there. So, you could always check those guys out if you want to see some more comparisons. But for this review, we're just going to have to roll with what I have. And what I have here is the figure arts Mark 46 Iron Man, I believe it is. The figure arts Black Panther, the figure arts Ant-Man, and the figure arts Star-Lord. And you can see Thanos looks really good next to them. But when you put him next to the Marvel Legends counterparts of those same figures, he looks kind of small. So I really don't think that he'll fit in very good with the Marvel Legends figures. So for those of you who wanted him in your Marvel Legends display, that might not work out so well. He does look big. He just doesn't look as imposing as he does with figure arts figures. And then here's a look at him next to the Marvel Legends... Infinity War Captain America and the figure arts Civil War Captain America. And then here he is with the figure arts Doctor Strange and Marvel Legends Doctor Strange. And then now here we have the Age of Ultron figure arts Hulk. And you could see Thanos is a little bit smaller than him. And that's a little surprising because I kind of figured they were about the same size in the movie. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Thanos and the Marvel Select Disney Store exclusive Thanos. And of course he's going to be smaller than them because it's a different scale obviously. And now here we have him with a bunch of different guys. We have the Marvel Legends Rider Series Wolverine, the Mezco Black Suit Spider-Man, 
the Mafex Homecoming Spider-Man, and the Mezco Captain America. And you can see he really doesn't tower over any of these figures either, other than the Mafex Spider-Man. And so I'd say he fits in pretty perfectly with the figure arts figures, and that's what he's supposed to do, so that's mission accomplished. But as far as putting him into your Marvel Legends display or your other random 6-inch displays, he might be a little undersized. So you might want to wait for that updated Marvel Legends version that doesn't have the stupid face. And for the details on the figure itself, I think they did an amazing job. And that's no surprise, figure arts always kills it with the sculpt, especially in the head. Check that out, I love these, these head sculpts. And the armor sculpting looks good on him, and his little, you know, suit looks good. Everything looks really nice. I do wish that the arms had a little bit more texturing to them. Or I do, I wish they had like a similar texture to the heads. Because as you can see, the heads kind of look realistic. They almost look lifelike you know but the arms look plastic and when you put them up close to each other it looks almost like a like a different figure or something so i think they could have done a little bit better with the arms but they're not horrible they just kind of come off more plastic looking than the the flesh tone on the face and then down here you got the boots that look amazing you got some gold work on there the pants have some nice like texturing and stuff like that there's details all over the figure Let's see what we got going on in the back same thing you got some nice sculpting details everywhere I like these the, the plastic they use on these flaps. I'm not sure if they use it all the time or if they use it on the Star Wars figures, but I like the soft plastic a lot. It's like a nice substitute for actual soft goods because it doesn't really get in the way and it looks nice. It still looks plastic, but I think it looks good. And then of course you have the Infinity Gauntlet and the Infinity Gauntlet is amazing. I love this thing so much. I'd have to say that the ball joint is a little more exposed than, than I, would, I would like. But still, I, I think it's awesome. The stones actually look like gems. You could you could kind of see through them, actually. So look at that. That's cool. I'd say this flat hand, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. This one kind of seems uh, like one they just threw in there. I know some people were complaining about the snap finger, that the gauntlet had, hand should have had the snap finger. And yeah, that would have been cool and stuff. But I don't think it's totally inaccurate that the plain hand got the snapping finger. Because I feel like there was a point in the movie when he was explaining his whole plan and motive and and he snapped his finger like that so i don't know i'm fine with that but it would have been cool to get the the gauntlet and hat and with the snapping finger and there's this one too that's awesome and damn look at it i love the gold and i love the gems they really killed it on that such good work on that gauntlet and for the head sculpts i think they did a fantastic job it almost looks lifelike i know that Thanos is a CGI character and everything, but I know they try to transfer Josh Brolin's likeness into that CGI character, and they did the same thing here with these head sculpts. You could, I feel like you could see Josh Brolin's face in there, and look at that. The sculpting work is just awesome, and I like how you could see the blue in the eyes, and there's a little bit of paint details in there, more than on the flesh tone of the arms, but you could definitely see some. Check out the chin. You could see that it has like that ribbed look, and I like this head sculpt, but it's probably my least favorite out of the three. It kind of reminds me of the Marvel Legends one, to be honest. It's it's way better, of course, but I don't know. I'm just not crazy into the smirking Thanos. I like the calculating menacing Thanos or the losing control Thanos. So that's just my opinion. But as far as how well done these are, all three of these are awesome. So overall, despite its flaws, I think that Bandai did an amazing job with this guy. I think the sculpt is incredible. He's really fun to pose and play with. All the paint is pretty much perfect except for his arms. I do wish there was a little bit more shading and details on there. And I do wish that the ab crunch went forward a little bit more. But aside from those two things, there's really no negatives with this figure. And yeah, I'm just really happy to have him. And it really makes me want to pick up some more of the figure arts Infinity War stuff because I've kind of been sleeping on it because there's just been so much lately to pick up. So I just haven't been able to get those. But I do hope to pick up a couple of those and Thanos here is the main reason why and this is going to be my main go-to version of this character as you probably know I'm not a big fan of the Legends one so I'm really happy to have a movie Thanos to mess around with and take pictures of and I think that's it so thank you very much for watching and just a heads up my channel is going to be a little dry as far as reviews go because Comic-Con is right around the corner so I got to start saving for that but I will have other things like lists and predictions and news videos and all that kind of stuff and hopefully you guys enjoy that but Anyways, that's it for the review. Thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And thank you very much. Peace.